10 Deleted Unseeable Moments UFC Don't Want Fans To See There are many unseeable moments that UFC has deleted, but most important 10 are here. Number 10. Don Fry A legendary former UFC champion who is regarded as one of the most important figures in the history of MMA. A creative force that enjoys success on both the US and Japanese shores. However, if the stories are accurate, the concerned fan was intoxicated when he made the error of challenging for a fight there and then. Of course, this was a poor move, but the footage didn't exactly lend itself to the marketing. All things considered, we would have rather it never happen, or at the absolute least, that it never happened, if only a vigilant Wen had been there to capture the entire event. John Jones Number 9 Long ago, a young man who is doing an amazing job of fulfilling his desire to become the UFC's youngest champion. The broader population, however, started to think that its very kind and polite demeanor was false by the time it slowly approached the target at age 23. Many claimed that when the cameras are rolling, John is a completely different guy. Additionally, he shared an infamous incident with his greatest foo, Daniel Cormay. He demonstrated to us all how deceitful he was capable of being with nothing but a live feed of Washington, D.C. in front of him and the interviewing question at a standstill. Before Cormay uttered his desire, the two started insulting one another. He was able to see John, allowing him to fall on his face. I would murder you, you know? It showed the world that John Jones wasn't nearly as modest and mild manner as he made out of be. 8. Great George's St. Pierre In the same way that George St. Pierre is flawless superstar, you can only imagine how the former champion's team and the UFC went completely out of their minds when he started speaking candidly to Joe Rogan about his alleged alien abduction tongue and how he has a tendency to lose track of time while sitting somewhere and discover that several hours have passed. He started to make the claim that he was being abducted by extraterrestrials. After all those years of training and fighting, Joe really put forth that this might be a sign of CTE, despite what you might think. Daniel Cormay is number 7. This may not be the most awkward situation. Many people watched their disapproval of the UFC, which you will discover on this list. When commentator Daniel Cormay came up intoxicated to a press conference before the tight fight between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor in the summer of 2021. Shortly after, Conor brings off the incident again and criticizes DC for working on the mic while inebriated, which is really funny coming from Conor. It's me, Daniel. How are the others doing? It's my turn to speak to the media, so here I am. We respect DC. Hello Tom, this is Daniel. Hello man. Khabib Nurmagomedov, number 6. It might defeat her Montgomery because cultural differences can occasionally be upsetting. A meeting with the great Khabib Nurmagomedov inside the cage following about was one of the most awkward interactions on the list for the former UFC title challenger Megan Anderson. Due to the dictates of her religion, a devoted Muslim would never shake hands with a woman. Thankfully, when Khabib explained to Megan exactly what had happened, the whole situation was put to rest. That evening, I came up and simply grabbed his hands and shook them. He stared at me as if I had just committed the worst possible offense on the face of this planet. And I made myself so that I wasn't actually disliked. He was Muslim and not shaking other women's hands was considered to be a sign of respect. And my god, I felt like the worst human being ever. Oh my god, I feel like such a terrible person I thought. 5. Mike Perry The UFC had no choice but to terminate his contract inside the octagon and sure enough, he signed with a bare knuckle boxing organization BK. Perry's propensity for getting into trouble was evident, and it persisted this time. 
The fighter that ultimately engaged the waterway was Julian Lane, a competitor on the Ultimate Fighter. The one who, uh, bro, let me bang. Need we say anything more? Despite Platinum participating in the tournament as a pundit, that didn't deter him though. This is just another instant of the Mike Perry being Mike Perry. But we are sure that Dana and Cole are not too happy with their relationship with his well-known ticking time bomb. Mike Perry left his station and charged into the crowd to assault Lan, who had been provoking him before that. Number 4 From the standpoint of the UFC heiress third fighter, making a video of themselves, Conor McGregor, evidently being inebriated and smoking a large blunt is typically not a huge cause of concern. Conor McGregor, on the other hand, immediately creates a media circus. And they've never been shy to, shall we say, document his fondness for whiskey and other unsupporting behavior. Substances each time he uploads a photo to Instagram like this one. Dana White must be tearing his hair out somewhere. Just you know it. With an eye on his prospective return for this year, you get the idea. There will always be pyrotechnic in Conor McGregor's boxing career, no matter how things turn out. At number 3, BJ Pans. The numerous losses in later years have in many ways defined him. He was involved in Inside the Cage as well as a number of personal controversies, which made many sports fans publicly concerned for his well-being. The most shocking and upsetting incident, however, involved a very inebriated man who was knocked out in Hawaii by an unidentified attacker. The former champion had repeatedly enticed the attacker to attack the man, though it might have been a bit harsh to use the proverb, ask and you shall receive. When the man in question forced him to hurt, he instantly hit the ground to worsen the situation. BJ found that dude and started beating him up after coming to his senses. Paul Acosta, second. Could Paul Acosta be considered an outlier in the bizarre and occasionally bizarre world of post-fight justifications? Is in a class by himself. Acosta admitted on social media that he had consumed an entire bottle of wine the night before the biggest fight of his life in an effort to get some much-needed sleep with her due to an overactive mind or pre-fight anxiety after putting on a truly underwhelming performance against middleweight King Azrael out of Sonia. The top middleweight contender made the decision to address a problem by doing the one thing you should never do the night before a big boat. Aldo Costa put up a fierce fight during the combat. His reputation was damaged by his attitude, something from which recovery takes a long period. John Jones first. Finally, we reached the second item on this list that has anything to do with John Jones. John has a strong propensity for controversy, which has turned him into a quite a liability. While there have undoubtedly been worse times from this in the recent years, from the promotion's point of view, the former 205-pound champion has over the years had a drawn-out video of one of your biggest stars taking and later failing sobriety tests. Then, getting arrested is not at all good look. John struck a rather courteous figure in some of the things he has spoken to two cops over the years, but there was still time in the 2020 footage when once revert superstar Kenny rebounded and became heavyweight gold, it really caused many fans to modify their general opinion of him. Who knows what will happen next, but one thing is certain, Johns has already done significant harm to his reputation. Please make sure to leave a like and comment if you liked the video and want to see more. Make a remark before you subscribe to the channel so you can see all of our most recent uploads. I appreciate you coming.